What is up guys, Jesse here with Adventure Endeavor and today we got another video for you guys. Today this video is going to be a truck project, well today and tomorrow I am getting some help from my buddy who has a local fab shop and today we are going to be working on the front axle of our 2016 Ram 2500. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing a super heavy duty axle truss. So we're gonna take this long tube and we're gonna take these brackets here, all these different brackets, and we're gonna be basically welding this tube under our differential into both outer ends of our front axle. Um, this is a pretty involved project, so I got my buddy uh, Mike with the Fab Lab in Simi Valley, California. We will link that below and we're gonna use his lift, his welder, he's done a bunch of these, and we're gonna get this thing all installed, and we figured, why not show all of you? And the reason you wanna do something like this on a truck like this is if you off-road it heavily, like we do. You know in a lot of our previous videos, we like to go fast in whoop sections out in the desert, we like to rock crawl. We really use this truck for everything, and this is something I've been putting off for a while. Basically, you want to install this axle truss, truss made by Thurin Fabrication. We'll link it below as well. You want to install this to prevent your front axle tube from bending. You don't want it to be a smiley face. So believe it or not, this front axle with how heavy this Cummins turbo diesel is, when you're going through a whoop section, your axle is doing this. It's teetering, it's going up and down. And what happens over time is that heavy weight pushing down on the springs, onto the axle, basically in the center, all, all of that is pushed into the center. And what happens is it slowly over time it starts to smile your front axle. It's a pretty common thing in the pre-runner world, in the rock crawling world. Not so much the RV world, but you guys might find this entertaining. Um, we're gonna show you step by step how to do this, and we're excited, because it's something that the truck has needed for a long time. All right guys, so we're here today, Saturday morning, at the Fab Lab in Simi Valley, California. My buddy Mike right here is hey gonna guys. help us uh, install the truss. So first thing you wanna do is disconnect your batteries. That way it protects your batteries, it protects the charging system, it protects your computers in your vehicle when you're welding. So that's step number one. And then he has a lift, so we're gonna put it up on the lift. And we put it in neutral, so it makes it a little easier to, to maneuver it um, on the lift. Yeah, then we go from there. All right, so here, is the front axle of our truck. This is the pumpkin. These are the outer seas. We have them on both sides. The whole point of an axle truss, it's gonna be welded underneath here, out to this C, out to this C, and the whole point is to keep the axle from bending. It also strengthens up your seats, which are cast, I believe. Is that true, Mike? That's true. These are cast, so when you weld it all together, it just makes it much stronger overall. And then it protects other things too because it's gonna be coming here, so it's gonna protect your steering stabilizer a little bit. It's gonna protect the differential a little bit. But overall, it's strength and protection in the long run. Because one of these axles is probably like $4,000 if you bend it and have to buy another one. So this is long overdue, and uh, it's gonna be a fun project. All right, so the truck is up on the lift. It's pretty stable, but you always want to add a stabilizer on the back of the truck and on the front of the truck for extra safety. So what we're doing is we're marking with this pen all the areas that we have to clean up and bring down to bare metal where there's going to be little brackets to attach the rod, uh, uh, the truss, so we got some here, obviously the ends here, and there's little gussets to go in all over the whole axle. So we got everything 
everything cleaned up with the barrel sanders, with the grinders. Everything's nice and clean. Now we're gonna go ahead and tack up the first tube, well, the only tube, tack that in place, and then start to fit all the little gussets uh, where they belong. We went ahead and taped the shocks because there is a gusset that goes up here, so you don't want to get any welding splatter on your shock shafts and your brake lines, keep them protected. One big thing when doing a project like this is you cannot create too much heat. So you tack everything into place, and then you'll do some welding over here, and then you'll jump over to the other side and do some welding, do some welding in the middle, all while letting it cool as much as you can so you don't warp anything, you don't overheat the ball joints, everything like that. So it is actually an extreme amount of welding, which is good, but you have to bounce around to make sure you don't overheat anything. And at the same time, if you've seen in the time lapse or right here, what I've been doing is I have been wetting rags, keeping them nice and wet around the ball joints so we don't overheat the ball joints and have to replace the ball joints because that would be a bummer. So it's all about just controlling the temperature, doing it slowly, and just getting it all welded. And this is gonna be a huge improvement in the life of the front axle, and it's just gonna give us peace of mind. We're painting the truss now that it has been fully installed and welded, and we're using steel it. It's basically stainless steel in a can. What's great about this is it's very durable and it restores the finish and you can actually weld directly through this. It's, it's designed and used a lot in off-road applications, but it's just a great paint. Little expensive, but like anything in life, you get what you pay for and we will link this below if you wanna check it out. We got this project all finished up. Obviously you can see the truss extends all the way from the driver's side, outer C. It comes all the way across underneath the diff where it is welded on the back side. We got gussets all over the place and then where it attaches here. So overall this is just gonna guarantee that our front axle is not gonna bend. And then also on the upper side, there is a little support to the coil bucket. So it's nice and strong. Overall, it was a pretty quick project. It took about three hours. That's with cleaning it up, taking the tires off and everything, putting it all back together. And then we decided to throw some new brake pads in as well, just because we had the truck up and it needed them. Overall, great project. If you're looking to take your truck off road, this is something you might want to consider. And like always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh -huh.